colleagues, you hear me, I always say I've been in government for the last 20 years, occupying a very senior position since 2003. I served as uh, administrator in the office of the second president. It's, uh, um, it's uh, a constitutional office under the office of, um, under cabinet office. I served in the office of the second president, Dr. Frederick Chilwa, as his administrator and as his spokesperson. The equivalent position there was that I was deputy permanent secretary. And I've been deputy permanent secretary from 2003 to 2011 when I became permanent secretary. And then the last seven years I've been an ambassador in foreign service. So for someone to doubt that I can build flats is uh, extremely strange. First of all, when I was appointed permanent secretary, I was retired in my earlier position as deputy permanent secretary. I was paid my separation package, a very handsome package, which I used to buy property in, in Kafue, built properties in Kafue, and bought a house in Kasama, where I come from. Uh, when I served as permanent secretary for almost a period of five years, and this is the most senior position in government, other than my emoluments and allowances, when President Sata relieved me of my duty, I was paid again a big, handsome package. They gave me my motor vehicle, the Prado, Land Cruiser Prado. They gave me a, another huge sum. Then I've been ambassador for the last uh, seven years. Zambians may not know that this position, especially of ambassador, is extremely lucrative, probably the highest paid position in government. Because wherever you are in the world, the emoluments are about $8,000 to $10,000 a month in foreign service allowances. And I also retain a salary back home. So I have two salaries as an ambassador or as a diplomat. I have foreign service allowances to my Fuma upkeep. And uh, then you have a local salary. So $10,000 a month is uh, a lot of money. That comes from about 200,000 kwacha a month. You can't buy a plot and build flats. And I've been an ambassador for the last seven years. So this act is an act of um, abuse. I think I'm being intimidated. I've been extremely vocal, extremely critical of President Hakainde Ichilema. But my criticism of Pro President Nagainde Ichilema is, uh, is professional. I'm here, this, this is my property, and I'm told that the SEC are here, and I want to understand why a restriction notice has been given to me. So join me as we have this discussion with the, I'm a journalist by profession, I'm an administrator, I'm a diplomat, so sometimes it's better to walk people along because they want to scandal us, scandalize us. I'm sorry.
The SEC is expected to be professional. You, my biggest grievance is that you just can't restrict an asset. You can't restrict a property without, uh, without uh, even a basic interview to, to understand. I've been an ambassador for seven years. I earn $10,000 a month. I can't afford the property like this. You see, no one who has a lot of money, you can't afford it. You can't afford it. Okay, so to my audience, I've got a restriction notice. It's written confidential from the SEC. 20th January. I need to read it. I need to read it. So strength is dated 20th January. This is a lot of inefficiency, but it has arrived today, a month and three days later. It says the uh, commission is conducting investigation in two offenses alleged to have been committed in part three of the constitution. So you can keep the officers out of it, they are professionals, you shouldn't uh, criminalize them or endanger their lives. Just focus on me or on the property. So that we... Okay, so um,
So I've been served with a restriction notice of my property here. Uh, the document says um, they are using part three of the Anti-Corruption Commission Act number three of 2022. And that um, my property here in Makeni Baumoro uh, has been um, restricted because they are following up on investigations. So let me reiterate what I stated earlier that this is an abuse of the law. This is um, uh, a clear intimidation. I have called out President Daka in the HLM because he's the one who's the subject of my discussion as head of state. I criticize him on his appointment. I criticize him on his corruption. I criticize him on poor governance. I raise issues that are beneficial to this country. And I think that this is an act of intimidation. I have been working for the last um, uh, 20 years at senior level as Deputy Permanent Secretary and as Permanent Secretary. The last seven years I've worked as ambassador, earning in excess of $10,000 foreign, foreign service allowance per month. I know many Zambians don't know that. That's how much your, your ambassadors and diplomats they get between $6,000, depending on your ranking and position, to $10,000. You cannot build, buy property, you cannot build a property if you are earning in excess of 200,000 kwacha a month. And, uh, you know, the last 20 years I've occupied very senior positions. So I regard this as an act of intimidation because the SEC should have called me and I could have brought my documents to justify the assets that I have. Then they could have established if there was criminal conduct along the way. I'm a subject of Zambians. Many Zambians have followed my life from the period I served with Dr. Chiruba. In my office, I've never had any audit. In fact, the Parliamentary Accounts Committee chairpersons usually would use me as an example because there were usually zero audits from areas where I served. When I moved into South Africa, I conducted an audit before I left, before I moved in. When I left, I conducted an audit. Similarly, I did the same in Ethiopia. So for anyone to come and criminalize owning of assets or prudent savings of money is, is just an abuse. But I will not be intimidated. Right now, as you saw, I'm with the media because I was doing my usual weekly brief. Today I want to discuss the Economic uh, uh, and Financial Crimes Court is setting up and the directives it keeps on receiving from President Daka in the HLMA. I think that that's unconstitutional, that's illegal. We've been disturbed by this small matter, but we'll soldier on and we'll keep on providing checks and balances, whether they intimidate us, whether they try to, 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 you know, to go to, for our assets or our lives. We have to speak for Zambians and we have a country to save. So thank you for following me and God bless you. And, um, our lawyers will, I will submit this to our lawyers and will quickly challenge this restriction notice because it's not justified. They are using law enforcement agencies to attempt to intimidate me or to intimidate all of us because all of us are being harassed, those that speak against President Daka in the HLMA. If I had kept quiet, the SEC would not be here. So you see, they are not following crimes. They are following individuals to attempt to shut them up, intimidate them. And for me, I will not allow that. Thank you and God bless you.